this video we're going to take a look at an individual integral. We're going to look at integrating x to the fifth time cosine x to the third dx. And I th really think the trick here is kind of looking ahead and seeing what you're going to need to do. We're going to try to do a u substitution to begin with, followed by an integration by parts. I'm going to look at this inside function here, and then I'm going to see I've got an x to the third, and then I'm going to say, okay, well, if I break this up into an x to the third and an x to the second, and I let u be x to the third, then that's going to take care of being able to substitute an x to the third, and then also once I take um, that derivative and do the substitution for dx, it's going to let the x squareds fall out. So your first step here is going to be to rewrite this as the integral of, I want to break this up into an x to the third, I'll keep the cosine x to the third, and then multiply that by an x squared so that those two um, are equivalent to that x to the fifth right there. So that's the first step right there, and then we'll have that dx. All right, now we're going to do a basic u substitution. So we're going to let our u be that x to the third, that inside function. When I take the derivative of both sides, I'll have a du equaling a 3x squared dx. Going ahead and solving all the way down for that dx, I'll have a du over a 3x squared equaling that dx. All right, coming back up here and doing some substitutions, I'm going to have the integral. We'll substitute a u for the x to the third. We'll have the cosine, again, substituting a u for that x to the third. We're going to go ahead and leave the x squared, replacing that dx with our du over 3x squared. All right, that's going to allow those x squareds to be crossed out. I'm going to be able to pull the 1 third out in front of the integral. So I'll have a 1 third integral of u cosine u du. All right, now at this point, I'm going to have to recognize that I'm got a multiplication going there, and I need to do my integration by parts. Now, the way I'm going to do the integration by parts is I'm going to use a shortcut. All right, and um, I've got another video on a lot of examples using this shortcut, so if you need to see uh, more than just this quick example done with this shortcut method, then be sure and look down in the description for that. But on my shortcut method, I'm going to have a column for my derivative. I'm going to have a column for my integral. I'm going to choose to put the u in the derivative column. I'm going to choose to put the cosine u in the integral problem. All right, I'm going to go down this left-hand column, and I'm just going to take the derivative. The derivative of u is 1, and the derivative of 1 is 0. So this shortcut one on this one is going to turn out really nice because I got that derivative column to come down to 0. Now I'm going to take this cosine u and I'm going to integrate it and that's going to give me a sine u. And then I'm going to integrate again and that's going to give me a negative cosine u. All right, from there, all right, part of the shortcut method is to then come over here and alternate your signs starting with a plus sign and then a minus sign and then a plus sign. Then I am going to multiply on the angle and multiply on the angle and that will allow for this integration here. So um, that one third is still going to be there. Now this integral is going to be what I get from multiplying on this shortcut here. So I'm going to take a u times sine u. So I'll have a u sine u. And then a negative times a negative is going to give me a positive. One times that cosine then there is going to be plus cosine u. I've integrated that, so now I can put my plus C, and all I have to do is replace my U with what I originally said it was going to be. So I'll have a one-third times the quantity X to the third, sine X to the third plus cosine X to the third, and then plus C for a final answer. So a nice little u, substitu uh, u substitution to begin with, followed by an integration by parts using a shortcut method. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and share with your friends. Thanks.